Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we gotta talk about a couple of very interesting things. First of all, this guy right here, his name is Jose Manuel, and this guy is only 22 years old. You might remember him from a couple of years ago, he competed in open bodybuilding, and he was, I guess he was 20, because that was two years ago, and he was really good as an open bodybuilder. I mean, this back double bicep, even two years ago, was Ronnie Coleman-esque. This was crazy, I mean, look at this guy, right here in the center. Next to him you have uh, Krizio on the left and Petr Klancher on the right. These guys are seasoned pros. I mean, Krizio is 7th at the Mr. Olympia. And this kid, 20 years old kid, was basically destroying these guys, at least in the back double. I mean, yeah, they're probably bigger and he got the angle, but still, still. I mean, he was an amazing open bodybuilder two years ago. And when I heard that he's doing classic this year, I thought there is no way he can make the weight, and if he makes the weight, he's gonna be a shadow of himself. However, that was not the case at all. This was a pretty freaking impressive classic physique. He didn't lose any, any size. I think he maybe even progressed. I guess he gained some maturity, so he looks even bigger, even better, even more impressive. And his back poses. Man, with these freaking glutes and hamstrings. And the back, look at the freaking lats. Look at the Christmas tree, look at the upper, the lats, everything, everything. The entire back, the entire back pose. I mean, look at the hamstrings and the glutes. This is crazy, look at his back double bicep. I mean, is this guy gonna win the Mr. Olympia or what? I don't know, I mean, nobody at the Mr. Olympia has back and back poses like this. Nobody has a back double this freaking impressive. Nobody has this kind of maturity and conditioning and, like, hardness and everything. And also, he's very aesthetic, very classic. His lines are amazing. I mean, this guy, I think, I think this guy is going to be top 5 this year for sure at the Mr. Olympia. He just won this show, he qualified for the Mr. Olympia... It was some show in California, I think it's called California Supplements Pro Show. I don't know why he did that show. Why didn't he do Pittsburgh Pro? If he did, Tyler Manning would now be making a video about him, because I'm pretty sure he would have won. Maybe he thought the competition is a little bit tougher, he wanted an easy Olympic qualification. But, I mean, if those guys laid eyes on him and, you know, he sucked up to them like everybody else is doing, I think he would have better chances, said Mr. Olympia. So, I don't know, I think that was a mistake, but could have he won the Pittsburgh Pro? I think he would have won it easily. I don't see any of these guys right here being, like, a top Olympia material. Anyways, once again, like I said, he came from open bodybuilding. Why was he doing open bodybuilding two years ago and not classic physique? Was he unable to make the weight two years ago and he trimmed down and he downsized or something? He lowered the weight and he managed? I don't know, maybe he just wanted to try himself off in the open because, yeah, he can do really well in the open too. But, I mean, if he's able to make the weight for Classic and look like this, I mean, this is definitely one of the top threats to Chris Bumstead, if you ask me. I know it's early to say stuff like that. We haven't seen him compared to the other pros, but... I mean, sometimes you just know it. Sometimes you can just see it. I mean, look at the conditioning in the glutes and hamstrings. I'm just so blown away with his lower back too. I mean, I don't think I ever saw this kind of conditioning from behind uh, since uh, Ronnie Coleman. Did Phil Heath have this or Derek Lansford? I don't think so. I don't think those guys had this many lines. This kind of hardness, this kind of conditioning in the glutes and hamstrings. I mean, this is just <laughs> ridiculous. This is gonna draw a lot of attention on that Mr. Olympia stage. Back shots are just amazing. From the front, he is not bad at all. He has the right structure, he has the right lines, his midsection is small, he's very complete, super conditioned, he has a nice hair and I guess a little mustache. I'm sure that helps a little. So, I don't know, I mean, this guy is definitely a humongous potential for Classic Physique this year. What do you guys think? Where do you have him at the Mr. Olympia this year? Am I right? Do you also see that? Can he be like a top uh, 5 material already, his first Mr. Olympia? Because I think he can, very much so. Alright, next up we got the internet sensation from, I don't know, 15 years ago, or 10 years ago, Jeff Said. Uh, look at how underwhelming he looks right now after after seeing uh, Jose Manuel. Apparently, Jeff Said, uh, if that's how you pronounce his name, is making a comeback to a bodybuilding show. I mean, of course, man's physique competition. And he is three weeks out right here. 
And by the way, if you didn't know, he is a man's physique pro. <laughs> Would he turn pro this year if he was an amateur now? Absolutely not. He turned pro, I believe, like the first year they introduced man's physique. Uh, it was completely different back then. Uh, he, right here, he obviously looks uh, natural. Uh, he was always claiming that Natty status, but I didn't believe it back then. But now, I'm looking at his physique um, basically 10 years later. And when I was following him, I was also a teenager. I didn't look like him, so I thought he must be on something. But now, when I'm looking at his physique, yeah, I can, I can believe he's natural. I mean, I don't know if he was back then. Maybe he was better, but now he definitely looks Natty. Actually, I don't know how many of you guys are new to this, how many of you follow the fitness scene 10 or 15 years ago, but yeah, this guy was a star back then, almost as Chris Bumstead is these days, or Sam Sulek, but of course on a much smaller scale, because fitness scene wasn't that popular back in the day, but yeah, he was definitely a big name back then, and I guess he's still kinda relevant, because he's coming back, uh, I can see that he still has the same haircut that he had since he was born, and I don't know what he was up to in the meantime, he wasn't active on his social media, I don't think so, and apparently he's coming back, he is looking uh, definitely uh, down, I mean undersized for man's physique these days, those guys are monsters, now some of them have bigger upper bodies than the classic physique guys, so I definitely don't see Jeff accomplishing much uh, in terms of uh, competitive man's physique uh, pro, right, I mean he's a pro, so... Yeah, things changed in the meantime, definitely, by much. I mean, he has a nice physique, aesthetic, natural, very, very pleasing, I would say, for like, uh, I don't know, for girls, stuff like that, for beach, but not for competition, definitely not. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Alright, next, let's talk a little bit about Hunter Labrada, because I completely ignored this guy when I was uh, doing my review of Pittsburgh Pro Gas Posing, because he was definitely not a standout guy. I mean, he's like, I don't know, top 6, top 7 at the Mr. Olympia, the other guys are like... You know, ranked higher than him, but now after re-watching his uh, posing video, I definitely can notice some big changes he made to his physique. I mean, he definitely did gain a lot of new tissue. Once again, he's 300 pounds, and you can see it, you can definitely see it. I mean, in this video, we're not going to talk about how big his head is, we all know that's his flaw, basically, in proportion to the rest of his body, his head is a little bit too big, so if his head was smaller, for example, like Nick Walker's, he would look as impressive as Nick, something like that, I think he's uh, about the same size, really, and the question is, what I noticed in the comments a lot, is Hunter really making progress, or is he descending, like, is his physique getting worse? Because a lot of people are saying that he's overrated, that he's so popular because of his name, and so on, but I gotta say, I don't agree with that. Can he make progress at this point of his career? I think he can, and I think he's doing that exactly right now. Can he make progress in terms of placement of the Mr. Olympia? I don't know, but I think it's very possible. First of all, because he made all these gains right here. And second of all, because last year he was only in perfect condition, in perfect peak at Tampa Pro. Later at Texas, that was not Hunter at his best. Nor it was at the Mr. Olympia, where he lost to Andrew Jack to both times. But I mean, hey, he ended up in top 6 at the Mr. Olympia, that's still a great result. And I think he could have placed higher if his conditioning was on. Because Andrew was off, Brandon Curry also wasn't at his best, I think if Hunter was at the condition he had at Tampa Pro, he would have placed 4th last year at the Mr. Olympia. So this year, with the improvements, and hopefully him and Ben Chow are gonna figure it out and nail the peak multiple times, not just once. Uh, from what I heard, he's doing some show in the UK and Italy, and then of course the Mr. Olympia after he qualifies. But now with the addition of Nick Walker, I can see Hunter placing 5th best case scenario, if he is completely on and if Brandon Curry gets a little bit worse, and if Andrew Jack doesn't come in completely shredded, and if nobody else uh, surpasses him. So, I don't think his career is over or anything like that, I don't think he's descending, I think he's still making progress, I don't think he's getting more aesthetic with time, but he's getting bigger, and as long as he nails the conditioning, I think he can do really well. Alright, and finally for this video, we got a little physique update from Hadi Chupan, which nobody talked about because he posted it in a wrong moment when Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing was happening, so nobody noticed it, but we gotta talk about it, we gotta mention it. So he says, 5% ready, 95% off, today's chest day. What does he mean by that? Well, he probably means that he only did 5% of his Mr. Olympia prep, 
and I think that's it. Now, as far as his conditioning right here, Pascality and everything, I think you can see that he has been off for a while, because he definitely got a little bit softer. I wouldn't say he got fatter. I think, he, of course, he's holding some water, but... Like, he's in a good condition, I think he's just a little bit softer compared to when he's, you know, blasting. Uh, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I think this is actually a good thing, because your body can stay in peak conditioning and peak hardness and fullness and roundness year-round. You gotta take it down a notch uh, here and there, and that's exactly what he did right now. So, as he gets closer to Mr. Olympia... He's gonna get closer to his peak shape, conditioning, and everything. And for a starting point, I think this is actually pretty amazing. And I do expect Hadi to bring his absolute all-time best to this year's Mr. Olympia. And in my eyes, he's the favorite to win the title again. Whatever you guys think, tell us down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.